Hello and welcome to On My Bookshelf Digital Edition. Yes, in this episode of On My Bookshelf, I'm going to tell you about five electronic books you can get to help you stay inspired on the move. Okay, digital books. Now these are in no way replacement for the good old printed book. But when you look at volumes like Colin Pryor's masterpiece here, they're hardly exactly what you call, well, they're not gonna fit in your pocket, are they? So what do you do when you're on your daily commute or you're traveling somewhere and you want a little bit of photography inspiration? That's where the digital book comes into play. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five books that I think you should pick up for your virtual bookshelf. Why don't we take a look at the first one? First up is The Art of Landscape Photography by Ross Hodner and Mark Bauer, one of my all-time favorite books on landscape photography. It's a technique book, mostly focused around compositional skills. I have read it many, many times. Um, I've actually got it in print and digital form. That shows you how often and where I read this book. So if you're just kind of starting out in your landscape photography journey and you're looking to develop your compositional skills, it's a really good book. It's got lots of information, things like rule of thirds, rule of odd, odds, as you say, uh, object placement, all sorts of useful information to help you fine tune your compositional skills. It's well worth picking up. Plus, because it's a book from Ross and Mark, it's packed full of really good, high quality landscape photographs. Next up, we have a photography competition book and International Landscape Photographer of the Year. The competition has just finished its fifth year now. Um, and the good thing about this particular competition book is it's free. You can just go to the website and download the PDF. So 2018 book hasn't been finalized yet. You can see a preview of it on the website, but you can still download all the previous year's books as well. So what have you got to lose? You just go to the website, download the PDF, now, the photographs, they're a little bit different, say, style as you might find in something like um, Landscape Photographer of the Year, but they're still really high quality, top notch, inspiring photographs. So whether you like them or not, you might as well head over there, download a copy of the book. What have you got to lose? Next up, we have Japan-based photographer, Martin Bailey. And I've got a bit of a three for one for you here, a bit of a bonus here. So Martin has got three books out. They're called Making the Print, Sharpshooter, and Striking Landscapes. Now I've got all three of those books and every one of them is well worth a read. The printing book for me was particularly important, especially when I started out in my uh, printing journey. And the other ones like Sharpshooter and the Landscape book are both equally as good as well. I think he's got a special price in there if you pick up all three as well. So you can't really go wrong with some of the content that Martin Bailey produces. So definitely recommend you head over there now and pick up those books. Next up, we have a travel photography book, a book called Ascender by a photographer called Jeff Masamori. Now, if you go to Jeff's website, you can pick up a print copy of this book, but he also allows you to download a free PDF copy. Now, this travel photography book documents his travels as he goes through the uh, Andes in Peru over a period of about five days. And he documents his travels, uh, and so it's packed full of people shots, landscape photography shots, and he kind of breaks the book up into uh, ascending order as he gets higher and higher up through the mountains. It's a really nice mixture of different genres of photographers, uh, photographs, and it's just a, a really fascinating read and a, and a proper book that documents someone's travels. And you know, again, it's free. And what have you got to lose? Well worth picking up. And last, but certainly not least, it's a book called In Camera by Gordon Lane. Now, you know, probably know Gordon from his uh, popular YouTube channel and extremely popular website, Camera Labs. It's an awful lot of gear review. It's a website I use all the time, so I was more than happy to go along and pick up Gordon's book. Now, it's a really good book. It's called In Camera because all the pictures in the book are literally taken on his camera in JPEG and lifted straight out, no post-processing. He's done everything in camera. And it's a really good collection of photographs as well. It's got some abstract, cityscape, landscape, close-ups, all sorts of different types of um, photograph in there. So it's quite a variety of photographs. And he's got some really good descriptions in there as well. And it also includes some tips and he gives you all the camera settings. So if you're ever thinking, oh, you know, I need really great cameras and I need 21 filters, you know, this book should um, really open your eyes. 
Okay, there you have it, five digital books for your virtual bookshelf. If you want to pick up any of these books, I'll include links for all of them in the video description below. Like I said, a lot of them are free and the other ones are just a few quid. So they're well worth picking up, particularly if you, you know, you've got a long train journey or a long bus journey or you, you, know, you just want to have a little bit of inspiration on the move. Having these digital books um, will really benefit your photography. And, you know, it's not to replace the old printed book, but it's nice to have a digital book just in case you're looking for a bit of mobile inspiration. Okay, that's it from this digital edition of On My Bookshelf. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.